global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, good people. Welcome back to Global Happenings today. We're so excited to have you again. It's a well-known fact that two days are slated in a week for the legal team of Mazin Namdi Kano to visit him and carry out all necessary discussions with him. Now, as at um, Thursday last week, the report we had was that it was not possible for some reasons best known to DSS. But right now, um, Ejimako has also alerted all the IPO family of the latest development as it has to do with the visit of Mazinam the Kanu, and it has raised a lot of doors. We are going to be looking at that in a jiffy. But before we do that, if you've not subscribed to our channel, please do well to hit on the red subscribe button and also on the bell icon so that you get notification anytime we publish our videos. Now, according to the news, Aloy Jima called a special counsel to Namdi Kanu, founder of the indigenous people of Biafra, says the Department of State Services, DSS, did not allow he and the rest of the of Namdi Kanu's legal team to see their client last Thursday and today, Monday. According to Ijimako, the DSS said the special squad in charge of visitations were not around. And I'm going to read exactly what he wrote on his Twitter page. He said, Alert, last Thursday we were not allowed visitation with Onion Do because, according to DSS, the special squad in charge of visitation went on outside assignment. They asked us to come on Monday today. Today, we are at DSS. They are telling us the same thing. We disagree. Hmm. And uh, Kano was, we all know that Kano was just arrested in 2015, but disappeared while on bail in April 2017. His social media post during his absence and his radio Biafra broadcast outraged the federal government, which said the broadcast encouraged attack on security for the DSS has produced him in court multiple times in Abuja after detaining him in an undisclosed country or after renditioning him from an undisclosed country in June last year. His lawyer alleged he was detained and maltreated in Kenya and all of that. That's just to add up to this very serious information which uh, Ejimako has passed out to all Biafrans. And now let's look at what their reactions are. I don't know how, why they do not want you know them to see him I don't have little or no idea about it, but that's just the information Ejimako has to pass. And right now, they are saying, no, they cannot go back. They must see their own client to know his state of health. Don't forget, as at last time when they came, um, the, the legal lead made Nigerians to understand that Mazinam Dikanu was having issues with his eyes. And if he's not granted the opportunity to go and see his doctor, he may likely go blind. And I think that is what is uh, pushing for that Thursday visit. Yeah, I know that they've been going there every day, but it's good enough for them to go and be checking on him so that in the event of anything, they can raise alarm and all of that. But then, um, right now, with the alert that have been sent out, I pray that it will not trigger anything funny. I'm going to read some of the responses of Nigerians in that regard. And this one says, Special squad win on assignment and therefore everything will stay pending. That's how Nigeria operate. We disagree. Please, sir, did you see our leader? That's the question. Someone is asking a Jimako that if he saw their leader based on how things are. Someone here says, you know they understand English. Somebody, they tell you, say they know a lot him to see Mazinam the Kano, you still they ask the question. <laughs> no, you know, they may not allow you to have access. I understand where this guy is coming from. They may not allow you to have access to the man, but at least you can hear his voice or you may inquire from people and say, How about Mazinam the Kano? How is he feeling? Say, ah, he's doing well, or maybe you hear his voice, see him talk, and all of that. All right, and then the next person says, yeah, Go ask your structure and other people, Simon Egba told us, told you that 
what to do. You guys blackmail him. Now, I don't see my kid. And another person say, if anything should happen to Mazin and the Kanu, Nigeria will see our madness. They should remember the reason behind what happened in 1966. This one says the Nigerian government thought that the resistance of the Biafran nation is being sustained by our leader Mazin Amdikanu, hence his adoption. We must make the South is ungovernable for the Nigerian government. Our symbol of diplomacy is in the hands of our enemy. And someone responded here, I know people like you will be staying outside the country and be talking this garbage and be causing trouble in our sweet southeast. Come down and fight federal government. Don't stay there and make noise and cause trouble in our land. Hmm. Which means by what this guy is saying, he's saying, man, that's not the right way to go. Fighting or causing any issue is not the right way to go. Another person here says, yet a visiting British MP is talking about trade and economy economy while a british citizen is being held up in an inhuman detention what a shameless anglo savon is in modern era yeah we heard that uh, one of the british uh, uh, that british prime minister also okay british member of parliament has said that he is visiting nigeria and he's entering abuja and then the brother of Mazinam the Kanu had to tell him that this is the situation of things. But shockingly, the guy did not even respond. Someone now is saying, your own citizen is suffering in the hands of this government. And you're not even saying anything. But you know that Nigerian government is actually, you know, um, sovereign. Nigeria is actually a sovereign nation. And being a sovereign nation, those kind of things may not um, be permitted. Niger Another person here says Nigerian government should not start what they can't finish. Extraordinary rendition is a state crime. They should behave and do the needful. Another person here say, free His Excellency Mazinam de Kanu. Now, another person here says, this is to show you guys that Nigerian government are playing game with us. It is time when we understand that that is when we take action. Another person here says, this is the reason we must rise up and go after all the saboteurs in Biafran land that collaborated with state to kidnap our great leader, Mazdam Dikano. The hour has come to bring everything down. Another person responding to what these guys say, say, don't try that nonsense. So I know you guys are out there enjoying yourself in Europe and you want to put fire in our land. Mazinam de Kanu will be visited on Thursday. Don't cause issues in Nigeria. Mm. Who are these guys who are speaking this? Another person here says, We are not allowed to visit our leader in DSS from our lawyer. We are given, we are giving them one hour to allow them or face our backside. <laughs> Which one is our backside now? That is a serious thing. And I want to say, I want to let the world know this. If anything happens to our leader, Mazinam Dikanu, oh my God, Nigerian government and British government will know that Mr. Warlord will make sure that no life will live in Nigeria. <laughs> Brother, calm down. Calm down for Jesus. Uh, this one here says, serious issues are being treated with levity. We have to prove to the Nigerian government that Mazinam de Kanu is not the one that is agitating fear of Biafra, but will make them understand that Biafra is in our blood, and every Igbo man, whether Mazinam de Kanu lives or dies, will still fight for the realization of Biafra. So many responses, you know, just coming in like that, but we like to leave it there. Go to our conversation.